Welcome to Fiber Foozy Crafts. This is Jill, and today I'm going to be planning in my planner for next week. So this is probably going to go out uh, probably tonight or tomorrow morning. So I got this from this tip from Heather over at Kell of a Plan. I ordered her sticker book, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to show you that when it comes in. It is super cute. Super cute. I will leave her link down below for you. So what she does is she takes her sheets out of her planner, sets her planner aside, and works just on the sheets. And I love this because that way you can turn them any which way you want to. Okay. And... My daughter, who is planning with Chels, she sent me some, uh, she's planning with Chels on Instagram. And she sent me some sticker books this week. So I got the journaling. I got the notebook. Not notebook, but notepad. The pastel stickers. The memory keeping stickers. The Glam Girl. Looking to see what else she sent me. Uh, seems like she sent me something else. I'm going to work out of these today. And I may work out of one of these sticker pads here. Like this one is the color block. I was going to use the new bloom box stuff. I don't know. I'm just not in that mood today. Oh, and she sent me that. No, she didn't. But have y'all seen that? Those are at... Uh, the dollar store. These are only a dollar and they are flag stickers. So see that the flags on the outside and there are six sheets in here and it comes with a a punch. It's punched so that you can put it in a binder too. So this would work on any planner. But this is what I want to work with today. Not with this, but I just wanted you to see what she sent me. She sent me a couple other things. I can't find them right now. Uh, this one is called the block pad. So you can work straight off of this pad and just slip it into your planner anywhere. Maybe. Maybe we will use one, see how they go. So let's see here. So this is it. It's like a big uh, notepad. See, it's got the sticky at the top. And then you can just pull one off. So maybe we'll slide one of those in there. I have my cart next to me and I will take a picture of the cart and I will insert it okay so let's get some of this to the side and Monday will be the 10th. That's tomorrow. <laughs> Trying to think of anything I have, any appointments I have. The chiropractor's not till the next week, so I don't need any appointments. 
But let's, what I do is kind of flip through and decide on color. I kind of get something just appeals to me color wise. And I like go with the color. Something besides the teal. <laughs> so I had kind of a down day yesterday. And I've still not quite recovered from that. Let's go with that. That speaks to me today. You got this girl. And I'm thinking it should be right in here. You know what? Let's do it. Because I want to use my washi too. <clears throat> so let's turn it. See how you can turn it now? Put it right on that line. Leave it kind of up a little bit because I want to put some washi underneath there. Let's see. And let's see if this one's going to show behind it. Yep. So we need our correction tape. This one is the Bic Whiteout. Turn the right side. There it goes. Okay. And that's okay because this is pretty wide. Oh, I need to go all the way, don't I? Go all the way to that little edge. Okay. Now I need my knife. This is another tip I learned from watching Heather. She is a mentor for Happy Planner. Oh yeah, see now you can't see the green underneath. And now I'm going to cut it here. And cut that little, because that was kind of folded over on that end. And I use this knife to kind of pull that up. Scratch paper. Oh, I don't have my scratch paper right now. So now when I put this down, see, you can go right over the top. Yes. So now I think we're going to have to do most of these with the white out. Let's go ahead and do these on this page. I don't know yet what we're going to do on the other side. Go ahead and put my washi. This is a washi tape uh, collection that I got at Michael's on sale. Or no, this one was Tuesday morning, I think. 
So it has coordinates that go with it. That's why I said I'm not sure which one I'm going to use just yet. Maybe tweezers. So I, I spent some time working on my workbench and got quite a few things in and these drawers kind of straightened out. I'm pretty happy with them so far. I just need to do a little bit more stuff that way I know what else I might need. I like that. Now see, I can come over here at the edge and I could put a large sticker right here. So we'll look for one of those. And I need to put a coordinating with that. How about some glitter? Well, actually, I have glitter, and then I have kind of liking how, oh, yeah, liking how that looks. I think the glitter might be a bit much next to that foil, but look at these birds. Aren't they beautiful? I tore it. That's okay. Y'all just have to watch me fumble through all this. Okay, they're upside down. I'm glad I whited that out. Okay, there's the edge where it tore. I hope my hands aren't in the way. I have to look at this knife every time because I'm never quite sure where is that sharp end at. Perfect. That's nice. Now see something wider could go right here. That one that I had in my hand. Yes. See, because these all coordinate. I bought this as a roll together. So let's try. This is the fun of it, the decorating. If you've never had a happy planner, this is a system where you can, it's on uh, disks. This is called a disk bound system. And the great thing is that you can take things out and move things around. Perfect. I like it. It's making me happy. That's making me happy. Let's see what's in here. So these are the journaling stickers. So they are actually the size of the Happy Planner boxes. There's winter. That one looks cute bright colors. It's something with more pop though I think. That's pretty. I might use that on the other side. Although it would look good right here. Okay, I'm doing it. So these come on a, the sticker, journaling stickers come on a a cardstock page and what they are is see it has the days of the week in it and you can journal something each day and it's a pop-up let's 
see. Yeah, I'm going to have to open it, turn it this way. Can y'all see? Cool. Went right to that corner, too. Awesome. Looking good. Still going to need a pop, probably with the florals. So I don't think I will use one of those on the other side. Let's see what's in this one. Now, usually, once I open them, get my scissors. It's another thing I learned watching Heather. Look at me talking her up. Okay. And you put that through there. And the reason that we do this is to keep the stickers from falling out. So a lot of times when you open and close them a lot, they tend to unstick and then you get stickers falling out. And since they all have a hole in the top of them, if you put this on here, And then take it and I cut the little top off and I'm good to go. Okay, memory keeping is a lot for doing um, like memory books with pictures. But there's a lot of really fun stickers in them. So we're not quite fall yet. Look at that one. Too purple. I'm just kind of looking for something that pops for me. Winter spring numbers okay I'm just gonna flip it this way that's the holidays I don't think we have any this week That's cool. Let's do I'm going to do one of these. I think that's going to cover that up really nice. I wish I had gone all the way out though. It's okay. We're going to do it like this and then we're going to put a floral next to it. It covers the notes and leaves me a little space right here for a floral. Wish I had a me time and a pinkish. Don't see one. None of these colors really talk to me. Okay, well, we tried. Okay, Glam Girl. These journaling times can get kind of long. So just so y'all know, I'm just going to kind of talk amongst, you know, spend some time with me while I do this. This is part of my thought process as I'm planning, but yesterday marked the anniversary of my mother's death. She died on August the 8th in 2016. 
and I think that's where my funk was yesterday. Oh, that's pretty. It's my first time looking at this. Woohoo, look at that. Oh, look at those. That's fun. I think we need to put one of those over here, don't we? So usually with something like this, see, you can write in there. Let's do... Can you all see it? It's my first time on my workbench planning in my planner, so on camera. So bear with me. I work out the angles and stuff. I hope everybody's doing well. So see this one, this Glam Girl is a mini. Uh, which means there's a lot of stickers. This mostly is uh, geared towards your mini planner, but there's a lot of fun stuff in here. Oh, it tore. That's all right. Okay, I'm going to set this one here with its leg, and let's find... <clears throat> Not in that one. Now I've got this uh, spring. I really like this. This has got such a nice variety of stuff in it and a lot of good colors. And there is in the back. Yep, there it is. It's got these. And isn't that gorgeous? So I want to use one of those. Probably. this one so much to do yeah I thought that would go really good right there but it's not going to I'm gonna hold on to this one because I want to use this with this here I'm looking for a specific thing Okay, set that aside. This is cool to be kind. This is new for this year. That's what I'm looking for. See, something like this. That's a little too bright. But I want to use it as a background for that chair. telling you this one has some really great quotes in it. Again, I thought this one was going to have something. It's too, not enough uh, of the plain ones. Okay. I know I have one that does. Okay, I think this is it. Color story. This one. 
this is the one I want, and it is in Color Story. So we're going to put that, let's see, where am I at here? I don't want to block it off right there. Let's come over to here, because back to Saturday and Sunday is going to be more relaxing, right? Where did it go? Perfect. I put my chair in there. This is really like a vanity. Let me see. Yeah, it's got a little ding in it, but that's all right. Oh, I like that. See, so I wanted you to see how you could build the layer on that. Now let's look in the pastel book. So this big book has two, pa two pads in it. See, full, 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 full. Okay, this one's going to have some great stickers and florals. Let's see, these are like my favorites. I love these flowers. What I'm going to do Okay, she'll be perfect. I'm going to take her. And I think going up. Like that. And then we take our scissors. Don't worry, we're going to use that, take it, put it here in the corner, oh, that didn't go right, that's why you always need your tweezers. it to place it. Always touch to make it go down. See that brings that floral in here and then we'll put one over here too. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more, and I'll probably fast forward through it, y'all. So I'm going to just do my thing, and I'll figure out how to fast forward this for you guys.
Okay, so I hope you guys like this. I think I'm pretty well done. Let's see what it looks like. Inside of the planner and what else I put in it. So there's this and there's this. I think will probably go I'm just gonna leave it loose for now I don't want to attach it right now but I'm gonna set it over here on top of my journal and maybe I should use so you can also use like pin so you don't forget but I think I'm going to put that on my journal back here and then a lot of times I put these in here So here's one of these also, it's similar to that, but this actually goes in the planner. That way if I have an idea that I need to sketch out, I can use that. This one has notes on one side and check it off on the other. And this one is the size of the uh, big planner. So what I do is I cut it and then I set it in here. This way, I have room for both to put it down one. Okay, this is kind of how I how I roll with my with my planning. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know that um, this wasn't a real upbeat. <laughs> This is just me going through my thought process, but you know, it's kind of fun. I hope you guys like it. I hope you'll come back. I hope this kind of gives you an idea. I know that this is not how most people would do theirs. This is very eclectic and very busy, but that's my brain. It's an, I have an eclectic brain and that's just sort of how I roll with everything. But to me, it makes sense. So I will talk to you guys on the next one. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. I will get faster at these, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, y'all.